not just from like young kids up to whatever, but for like older people and uh, you know the show was was um, about hope. So I mean that's the most important, and it's great that to catch up with people that you haven't seen for a while. Like I haven't seen Lana in probably a couple of years. I'd yeah. say yeah. So it's um, it's always nice to catch up with people. Lana and I knew each other before Once Upon a Time. Oh, you did? Yeah, we did. We were the same agent at one point. So uh, we knew each other before she started and before I started. Yeah. Somehow, like earlier, we got on the subject. <laughs> I've seen Haggis. Have you had Haggis? Uh, no, still no. I'm right. Still yeah, <laughs> it's grand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, to pivot ever so slowly, I wanted to ask about um, music and... Pivot slowly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone from haggis straight to music. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty quick. Okay, to pivot quickly, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> a box step, if you will. Uh, Christina Perry, I'm, I'm obsessed, one of my favorite what? artists. Yes, I wanted to ask about working with Christina. Yeah, it was, uh, um, it was amazing. Um, they reached out originally for a different song. Um, I think the song was Burning Gold. And I... I guess it's ready. I wasn't, I wasn't available. I wasn't able, I was, shooting a, I was shooting a movie or something like that. And so I couldn't do that. But it turns out that she'd written uh, the song that we did. Uh, I think she'd written it or Captain Swan. It was like a based on, uh, as far as I, as far as I can remember. I'm getting old now, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, she was a massive fan of Once Upon a Time, and they didn't realise that the house that we filmed in was actually Zelina's house. Oh well, it was. It was the house on the show. The <laughs> when it was all green. <laughs> <laughs> With the pointy hat. Uh, so, um, but they didn't realise that that's, it was completely random that we were out there. And so yeah, she was, she was delighted. So I did a little hook and she got a tattoo done. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and, her, and she gave me a guitar for dinner, which is great. Oh, cool. uh, so if you could master any musical instrument, what instrument would you like to master? Well, I play, I play, I've been playing the guitar for 23 years, and I play the mandolin and the ukulele, and I started to play the piano in the last, during lockdown, uh, because I never, I never really learned to play the piano, so I wanted to do that. I, I think I, I'd like to play the saxophone. That's a nice choice. Yeah, and the violin, I think, I always wanted to. I'll be you. <laughs> okay, are you coming to the NASCAR? <laughs> you can teach me there. Um, but it's close to the, it's the same tuning as the mandolin, so. My dad plays a sax, so I'm the sax cover. Oh! I should move in. <laughs> you have a nice room. I mean, if you like to it's fine. Okay. Oh, this is great. I'm going to <laughs> Say. See, this is the center. Conventions are so cool. Things are so yeah. long. Uh, mandolin, I feel like that, that's such a challenging instrument. Did you find that to be the case? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was difficult to, well, like, obviously I played the guitar for a long time and I just sort of kind of know a little bit about strings and instruments and stuff, but um, I just love the mandolin. I think it's such a beautiful sounding instrument. And, uh, I just, uh, I just decided I'd like, to pick it up and fiddle around with it. So. Did you ever like delve into the banjo? I have played a banjo, yes. Come <laughs> on. Yeah, I have played a banjo, and um, I was, yeah, I was, I was pretty good. So, <laughs> um, but guitar is my, my thing. So, yeah, yeah, I love it. Who are some of your biggest like musical in, uh, influences? Maybe specifically when it comes to guitarists. Eric Clapton. Um, Jimi Hendrix, Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin, uh, Mike McCready, Pearl Jam, Pearl Jam, my favourite band. Uh, oh, there's, 
Hello, it's Rory Gallagher, who's an Irish blues guitarist. Um, there's a guitarist called Kev Moe, who I learned to play Delta Blues when I was a kid, when I was like 12 or 13, I bought his DVD, and I was lucky enough to get to meet him. And uh, I played with him on stage in Vancouver, and we've written a couple, we, we had written a couple songs together before in the past, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, they were kind of, I love all the old blues guys as well, you know, um, Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Very diverse. Now, how many times have you seen Pearl Jam live? About ten. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's, that's a decent amount. <laughs> <laughs> I, live, I, live, I live in Ireland, so it's not like they're playing there every. Yeah. Uh, right. so yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Close. Close to that, I think. Yeah. Can I can I pivot again? Maybe at a moderate speed this can time. Can you pivot? Yeah, really slowly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, uh, attending these conventions, meeting a lot of people, NASCAR, saxophone. Uh, what, <laughs> what are some memorable moments that stand out to you from attending? This is conventions? definitely one of them. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to say because I always think that the main thing that stands out for me is when people come up and they say, "Look." I went through a really difficult time, and when I watched the thing that you did, uh, it really helped me get through that tough time. And to be able to be a part of something like that, uh, I think it's, it's just something really special, because not every show is like that, you know what I mean? Like, other shows are amazing for different reasons. This one particular thing, I think, was really good for that type of uh, that type of thing of helping people, or, or just allowing people to escape and not worry about something, you know, and, and not have to really tax themselves or be anxious for whatever's happening on the screen or on the, you know what I mean? It was just about happiness and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's Louth. Oh, great. Yeah, that's 
it's perfect. Oh, thank you. Did you look that up? You looked it up. I have, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I looked it up and I also tried to map quest how far it is from the Borny Stone. Is that nearby? Or... Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Blarney Stone is, is quite a bit away. Okay. So, I don't know my geography of Ireland, clearly. So. Yeah, um, it's quite a distance. It's quite a distance away from the Blarney Stone. I've never actually kissed the Blarney Stone. Pretty I'm pretty cool. sure you can tell by listening to me talk that I, gift of gab. I don't have the gift of the gab. If you do. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks very much. Um, but no, I live, the town where I'm from is uh, just north of Dublin. Awesome. Well, we'll have to visit sometime. What do you guys think? We'll go there. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> good sport. You know, we can all go play golf. I was petrified because I just saw like didn't Sugar McGavin like do a video for you? Did. And I was like, I could have sworn you were good, and then you made me feel like I was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was like, oh no. Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna take, you. We're gonna take some questions from the crowd. I didn't so. mean to make you feel bad. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I won't. The punches. It's all good. All right. Once again, I kindly ask that you just keep in mind the guidelines of what's happening in the world. So. My favorite genre of things, of things that I like, is probably sci-fi fantasy. Yeah. But that's nothing to do with work. That's things that I like. Yeah, just things you like. Yeah. And that you're allowed to talk about. That I'm not, yes. Yeah. Excellent question. Thank you. Hi, I'm Emily. Um, I want to say great big fan. Love you. Um, <laughs> uh, I just was kind of curious about like your acting process, necessarily. Like not necessarily like specifics of like everything that you might end up doing, but just like what is your sort of like routine when you're preparing to do things for theater? Yeah, for theater. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I like to spend a lot of time. Researching what it what it is that I'm about to work on, if I can. Right. There's certain things that you can't research, um, like being 800 years old or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do. I like to spend a lot of time researching things. I like to. I think it's, it's sort of more instinctual. I sort of constantly think about it. Okay. I don't. It's not an intentional thing, but it's always there in the back of my mind. So. So you kind of like embody the the person that you're like going to be. And kind of. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Kind of. And then I just hope that it will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's fantastic. That's yeah. That's pretty much my process. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Hi. So first of all, do you know? The Muffin Man? <laughs> the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Do you know the Muffin Man? Yeah. The one that lives on that, that one street? Um, but anyway. Um, <laughs> do you, um, so if you and your fans, the enemies, do you, if y'all if you had made it, how different do you think your life would have been? Uh, well, yeah, that's, uh, that was the chair, by the way, that wasn't, <laughs> well, you guys didn't hear good. I'll get you one on that one. <laughs> to be fair, they're very loud chairs. I got you. I'll do it the first time. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't know, um, I think, I think acting was always the thing for me, um, or maybe both. Maybe could have done both. Um, it's just with the with the band, I, you know. I, I I had to move away, so uh, I kind of yeah, that was sort of it. But I'm still in touch with um, with the guys and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I don't I don't know. I guess we'd be playing stadiums. <laughs> so that'd be different. Um, maybe instead of being in moves. Hmm? Instead of being in moves. Instead of being in things that people watch. Uh, but I enjoy being in things that people watch. Thank you. Thank you. Just break the mic, don't mind me. Okay. 
Hello. So, being that we can't talk about news or things that people watch, I are we really going to call them news? <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's now the thing. Okay. Yeah, no point. You have a colleague who's a Welshman who start, who was in a project of yours um, that was quite frightening and dealt with possession. You can say his name, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Yeah. yeah. Was it very intimidating working with someone of his caliber and also working on that project? Did you feel that you took a lot of the elements of that home with you that it affected your personal life? I mean, I can't really talk about the project, of course. There was, the subject matter was uh, intense. Um, of the certain thing, I can, what I'll say is, I allowed myself to freak out the first time I met Anthony Hopkins. Uh, he, I, I had to do what they call a test for a certain thing. Uh, and I was really nervous. And I was the first person there. And so I went into the restroom. Uh, Give myself 10 seconds to absolutely shit myself. <laughs> uh, excuse my language, sorry. I didn't really do that. Uh, and then I went out and I was like, okay, it's either going to work out or it's not going to work out. Um, and he came up to me and he gave me a hug and he said, uh, hello, Colin, nice to meet you. Let's just have fun. <laughs> that, was, that was it. And then so he was really supportive because he knew it was my, my first big thing and um, really helped me work through it. And he's, uh, he's an amazing person, just overall, just an incredible person. Thank you. I was going to say, uh, I don't know what to call it anymore because it's not Twitter. Oh, uh, this is a good question because I'm not in, I'm not in them, so that's good. <laughs> uh, it's going to have to be Dustin Hoffman. Um, a very good second, uh, Captain Hook. <laughs> so I think that that's it. But it's also what a what a great movie, you know. I can say that, can't I? Yeah. yeah. I probably shouldn't say that into the microphone. Well, I'm asking. <laughs> can I say this? <laughs> hey, hi, I'm Lucy. Um, so my question is, as in the thing on the television with the name that's the same as the start of fairy tales, where you were a man who was in a bad relationship with a crocodile, have you ever worn the eyeliner to a convention and been called guy liner? I had eyeliner on yesterday. <laughs> uh, nobody called me eyeliner, but uh, I have that because um, I'm doing a thing at the minute that has a waiver to be able to do the thing. And I finished on Thursday night, and I did wash, but I didn't get it all off, so I had some yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Question. Hello, I'm Emily. Hi. So I've been kind of going back and forth on uh, what question to ask. So like if this one, if you can't answer it, just let me know. But just from what I know you from, the things you do always have a lot of like, the, the, the thing I know you from, you, you have a lot of charisma in what you do. And I was wondering if it's like a specific process or a thing that you do in order to illustrate that if it's just like natural. I mean, I think you can tell it's not natural. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, there's a thing, there is a thing that you do. Uh, there's something I noticed about people who are like that in real life. And I was like, what? I don't know why I met one specific actor and I couldn't take my eyes off him. And I was like, what the hell is that? What is it about that? And 
when he talked to me or talked to people, he talked to you. And so he'd be looking at your eyes and just for you and he spent time talking to you. And that's exactly it. And listening. And so it's eye contact. Because most people don't do that. And then you have it. You know? And people get a bit weird about it and they sort of go, uh, okay. <laughs> that's the thing, is that that's what it is. And it's just you two in the room. That's it. Awesome. That's Thank what you. Was. That's great. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lauren. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? I'm good. Um, my question is Have you ever been on family vacations? And if so, which one has it been your favorite? I have been on family vacations. Uh, what, which one's my favorite? Yeah. Um, any, any of them, because I get to be with my family. Uh, so, um, yeah, they, we were in Rally a few weeks ago or whatever, and my family came with me. So we got to spend a couple of days in New York, and then we were a couple of days in Rally. So that was nice. Uh, yeah, just uh, anytime. D uh, Disney is always good. Can I say your name? I don't know if I can say it. Yeah, yeah. I can. Because it's the theme park. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he got you. He got you. Uh, um, that's always good. Uh, Maui, his family holidays, and that was incredible. Um, and yeah, it's just anytime, because if I'm away working, like even I'm here, and my kids are saying that they miss me and stuff. So any, like, just getting to spend time with them is the most important thing. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. I love you so much. Oh, well, thank you. I love you too. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi. Um, I have two questions. So, what is your biggest pet peeve, and what is your guilty pleasure? What is my biggest pet peeve? Yeah. I can tell you for a fact. It's when you hold the door open for somebody and they don't say thank you. <laughs> that drives me absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. I think it's the higher rudeness. Uh, I also can't stand when people don't say please and thank you. Uh, I know it's simple, and that seems like oh well, but it's like it doesn't cost anything to be nice. You don't have to be. And that person doesn't owe you anything. For you to be able to go, just give me that, or whatever. Uh, what's my guilty pleasure? Yeah. I can tell you. Thank you. Thank you. You have the pet peeve. All right. <laughs> Hi, my name is Salem, and um, my wife's been learning Irish. We mentioned that to you at the table earlier. Um, so she introduced me to an Irish band, I hope I don't pronounce it wrong, it's called Sholin, and they speak, they, Irish language music. I was wondering if there's any other Irish musicians you would recommend to us. Oh, there's tons. There's uh, there's loads. There's um, uh, there's the Dubliners. There's uh, Thin Lizzy. Obviously, I, I like rock. Um, there's a band called U2. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, there are. Any that's singing Irish. That sing like uh, Irish lyrics. Oscalga, as we say in Ireland. Um, that do I Clannad, I think sing C L A N N A D, I think they sing sing in Irish. Um, but if you look up there's tons of traditional music that you'll find. Um, but obviously like I grew up in my hometown every single night in every bar, pub the be music, you know, so Ireland is a, has got a rich heritage of music and um, storytelling, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Devrin, um, and I was wondering, what's your favorite uh, fairy tale character? Favorite fairy tale character? I think it was always 
was rough with the still skins because it freaked, freaked me out. <laughs> uh, but my favourite fairy tale was Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. Sorry, I'm Irish. <laughs> I'll speak slowly. Uh, Hansel and Gretel. It was my favourite story, but I, I don't think they were my favourite character. You know what I mean? Rumpelstiltskin. I definitely think Rumpelstiltskin was definitely really, really uh, interesting. Yeah. Great, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Colin. Hello. My question is, is there ever a skill that you had to learn or something you had to research to prepare for a role that became either a hobby or a topic of personal interest that carried with you beyond the project? Yeah, I, I, I had to learn to shuffle uh, one-handed <laughs> because I was in a thing right one hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd written that I shuffled uh, cards, so I had to learn to do it one-handed. But then I, uh, I taught a lot of card tricks and stuff, so um, I know some card tricks. And I can still shuffle one-handed. Don't test me, I'm not doing it now. <laughs> you want to see it? You can look at it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. What's your favorite card game? Favorite card game? I'm partial to poker, to be honest. Somebody do an intake of breath there. Yeah. <laughs> is poker like. Is it dangerous to play? <laughs> okay. Yeah? Um, hi, I'm Mal. Um, you're like my favorite person on earth. Um, favorite person on earth? <laughs> is that what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and my question is, um, what got you into this, like, or um, has, like, what made you want to go into this? What made me want to become an actor? Mm -hmm. uh, because I was a re <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that? I can hear that. I'm not gonna find it. Anyway, uh, I was really quiet as a teenager, and I had friends in youth theatre in my hometown, and I went to meet them for a coffee. I think it was about 15 or 16, and they needed somebody to fill in, uh, and I said, "No, I'm not going to do it. No way." And then they said, "Look, we're really stuck." They offered me the part then, and I realised that I was when I was on stage. I was able to pretend to be somebody who wasn't really self-conscious and nervous and felt sort of like I needed to be in the background and it allowed me to take on the skin of something else and pretend to be uh, uh, somebody completely different and that's when I fell in love with it. Um, I mean you can probably tell even now talking I'm not you know what I mean? It's like, this is weird for me. <laughs> but if you give me words, I can do it, no problem. And that's kind of the thing that made me fall in love with acting. Thank you. Thank you. We have about 10 minutes left. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, so I've been watching you since I was seven years old on the big screen. <laughs> I like, thank you very much for that. I needed you to comment. That. Thank you. I made, I made a lot better than myself. And I was wondering, what is something that you would like more of your fans to think about whenever they see you on the things that you do that we cannot talk about here? Um, I'd like for them to remember that I'm old and I don't want to be told that I'm old. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, no, I'm, jo I'm joking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just like. Okay. Anyway, um, I heard. I heard. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if I want anybody to think anything about it. I just like that the fact that 
people are discovering it now and still relate to it. And that's great. Like there's kids in my son's school and they're like 10 up who watch the thing. And it's pretty incredible to think that people are still, still love it and are finding it, discovering it for the first time. And the families can share, share that, because that's the one thing about that thing, was that it was really good for families to sit down and watch. So, um, and I think that that doesn't happen that much anymore, where a family all sit down together to watch something, because with all the, you know, the amount of things that you can watch now, people sort of drift off, and on, on all the different screens that you can watch them on, people go off and watch their own thing, as opposed to having like that, Time together. Thank you so much. Thank you. I apologize for making you feel old. Oh no, you didn't make, you didn't make me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I stay here for like the whole night? <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> I think this is our final question. Oh, that's okay. you. Well, um, it's like a really stupid question. I was just going to ask if you have any pets or what your favorite animal is. Wow. My name is Emma, by the way, so I've heard you say my name a lot. Hi, Emma. Uh, I do. I, there are three pets in our house. There are two fish in my son's bedroom, and then I have my dog, Buckley. Uh, and Buckley is 12 years old now, and he oh. thinks he's a pup, but he's going grey around his mouth and his ears, and he gets really tired and just falls down on the floor. Oh. Oh. I'm a cat today, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, so Buckley is my dog. Buckley is a retriever setter cross, and he's jet black. Yeah, wow. and he's a good little boy. <laughs> yeah, and he's named after Jeff Buckley, the singer. Yeah. That makes sense. A wonderful performer. So uh, I guess we've reached the end, uh, even though we're going to be back here later for the sleepover or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but what other snacks like, do you I'll think bring you should? Chips. Okay. Who's <laughs> bring, bringing chips? Hands up, okay, you're making chips. You're making the cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Are, are we thinking like cupcakes or like what? Donuts? Sorry, Sorry what's that? Brownies. Oh, well, yeah, you can bring muffins. <laughs> I mean, this sounds delightful. So we're all just going to be in a big collective sugar coma. But uh, if you could pick like a classic film for us all to watch, what, what would you like to pick? Um, well, if it's this many people. Uh, with, I reckon it's gonna have to be Indiana Jones <laughs> or the Goonies. A double feature. Double feature. Double I've got feature. Goonies socks on. <laughs> Thank you so much for this adventure that we've just been on for the past 45 minutes an hour. Uh, before we do wrap it up, any uh, thoughts you want to leave us with here? Um, <laughs> got? Colin's thoughts for the day. Uh, uh, no, thank you very much uh, for coming, everybody. Um, uh, sorry you had to sit through listening to me talk absolute... <laughs> Rubbish. Okay, good. Well, at least that's something. So, you have to listen to my rubbish answers, but you like the accents, so that's good. Uh, but no, thank you very much for coming. It's um, it's always great to see people who like what what you do, uh, and specifically the certain thing that we did. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really it's really nice and really great, you guys, to come and. and Hopefully, hopefully I'll get to see you again another time, oh, when I'm cool. even older. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's, it's okay, it's good. Yeah. Somebody said I was handsome then afterwards, so I aged like five lines, so that's good. You are handsome! Everyone just shout a compliment collectively, let's hear it. It's okay, you don't have to. <laughs> if it is okay with you, then we're going to take a big group photo with everyone, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. Okay, so if you guys...